Hi, I'm Pastor Joel Gertner, National Director of Jesus Cares Ministries. Welcome to a webinar focused on our JCM Handbook. If you do not yet have the handbook, you can download it at tlha.org forward slash Jesus dash cares dash ministries forward slash resources. Let's get started. Thank you for joining us for this next in the series of webinars from Jesus Cares Ministries. In this webinar, we are going to look at the Jesus Cares Ministries Handbook. We're going to give you an overview so that you can become familiar with the JCM Handbook. We're going to help you understand the tools and resources that are available and also where you can find those various tools and resources. If I haven't met you before, I'm Pastor Joel Gertner. It's been my privilege for over seven years now to serve as the National Director of Jesus Cares Ministries. And I'm excited that you joined us to learn more about the Jesus Cares Ministries Handbook. First of all, why was this handbook developed? Over the years, Jesus Cares Ministries has developed many different resources. And the idea of the handbook was to bring everything together in one place. So that all the tools, all the resources, you could find them in one place. The handbook was developed both for existing Jesus Cares programs, as you're going to see as we talk about some of the resources. But that uh, handbook was also developed for new programs so that as you begin a Jesus Cares Ministries program, you can find everything to begin your program well. What's included in the handbook is an overview of the JCM programs, um, ideas for um, both reaching out and strengthening your Jesus Cares program, and then a look at the JCM process. Here's a look at the table of contents for the JCM handbook. As we just mentioned, um, a look at the various programs that make up Jesus Cares Ministry the process and how you get a Jesus Cares program started. There's a section on training. And this is both for whether you're beginning a Jesus Cares program or whether you've had a long time JCM program. You might want to consider having a training session for your volunteers to help them think about, is there anything that we can do to strengthen or to make our JCM program better? There are two sections on planning, first of all, um, outreach planning, and then a uh, tool to help you develop an outreach plan for your Jesus Cares program. Maybe that's something that you could take a look at doing. Uh, something that maybe you haven't thought about also is, is doing an evaluation of your Jesus Cares program. Do we have the right people in the right places? Do we maybe need to look at doing something different or adding something to our JCM program? So there's a whole section on program evaluation and some metrics to help you do that. And then we're also gonna take a look at the JCM toolkit and help you uh, know all the resources that are available there. Maybe you are familiar with the uh, various programs that are a part of Jesus Cares Ministries, but just so that everybody knows what they're all about, we're gonna take a look at the three basic programs that make up Jesus Cares Ministries. Worship the Cross, the JCM Bible class, and new friends. Worship at the Cross is obviously the worship aspect of Jesus Cares. This is a simplified worship service for people of all abilities, but it's geared specifically for our friends with special needs. This is a service uh, that is projected on PowerPoint so that it's easy for people to see because uh, many of our friends with special needs might not necessarily be able to use some sort of a service folder. As the symbol for the Worship of the Cross service on the screen indicates, um, in addition to, as always, focusing on the cross and what Jesus did for us, there is the lighting of a candle and the ringing of a bell, um, one of a number of ways that we look to engage the participants in this very unique worship service. One of the other ways that we look to engage the participant is by offering them to have a rhythm instrument that they can use to play as the songs are sung. There are, as you maybe know, a fair number of our friends with special needs who are nonverbal, 
And I often say that that rhythm instrument really is their voice that allows them to participate even if they cannot speak or sing. The Jesus Cares Bible class or Bible study is a simplified Sunday school type approach to sharing the Bible stories. Jesus Cares has developed a wonderful 110 lesson curriculum entitled Dear Christian Friend. This curriculum, which is only $99 and allows you to have it and use it however you want, includes three main areas. A student lesson leaflet for each of the 110 lessons, a teacher's guide that has a ton of resources that you would find helpful for your Jesus Cares Bible class, and then an object lesson devotion for each of the 110 lessons. If you have never seen the Dear Christian Friend curriculum, please email us at jcm at tlha.org, and we would be happy to send you a sample of each of those three aspects of the Dear Christian Friend curriculum. Again, a reminder, that curriculum is only $99 at myjcm.com. New Friends is the fellowship portion of Jesus Cares, and this encourages high school and college students to become true and genuine friends to their peers with special needs. If you would like to know more about New Friends or how your school might start a New Friends program, please contact us again at jcm at tlha.org. This slide shows you the entire JCM process from beginning a Jesus Cares program to continuing and strengthening a program that you may have already. If you've never had a Jesus Cares program, Getting it started begins, first of all, with recognition. The recognition that there is an opportunity to share the gospel with people with special needs in your community or in your area. If you'd like some help in maybe looking at this, we would be more than happy to help you. Once you've recognized that this is a ministry opportunity, the next step is to do an introduction to the entire congregation. The way that we suggest doing this is inviting a Jesus Cares consultant to lead the Worship of the Cross service for your congregation's weekend services. This allows people to see the Worship of the Cross service, to understand more about the ministry opportunity, and to learn more about what Jesus Cares Ministries is all about. Even if you have a Jesus Cares program already, it might be a good thing to schedule a Jesus Cares Sunday. Invite a Jesus Cares consultant to come and lead Worship of the Cross for your congregation services to maybe highlight this aspect of your congregation's ministry. Once a congregation has recognized that there's a ministry opportunity and has introduced it and has gathered a core of volunteers, the next aspect is doing training. This training really has two main components. First of all, making sure everyone understands the proper terminology and how to work with people with special needs, and then really looking at what your Jesus Cares program is going to look like. Again, even if you have had a long time Jesus Cares program, training might be a good thing to do with your volunteers to again, get all the volunteers on the same page, to get them to think about, are there some things that we maybe need to do differently to strengthen our Jesus Cares program? Just as with every other aspect of life, good planning makes for a good program. You're gonna see in the handbook, a number of planning tools which help you plan a yearly program, and also plan outreach for your Jesus Cares program. Once a new program has planned, then they start. Again, we are happy to do anything we can to make sure that your Jesus Cares program gets off to a good start. As your program continues, it is extremely important to make sure that you continue to look at are we doing everything that we can 
to share the gospel with as many of our friends with special needs as possible. This is where the outreach planning tool is, is important. Are we looking at every avenue and every opportunity to reach out with the gospel to those with special needs in our community? The other important thing, both for a new program and for a continuing program, is to do a regular program evaluation and assessment. Near the back of the Jesus Cares Handbook is a section for this. It helps you evaluate the four main areas of your program that we'll talk about in a little bit. Look at the program metrics and then determine, is there anything that we perhaps need to do differently? As we talked about planning is the key to success in any area, you need to ask yourself, do you have an outreach plan for your Jesus Cares ministry? And as you do, what are the goals for that program? Whom are we looking to reach? Are there other areas that we can maybe look to connect in the community? And then how will you reach and measure those goals? We would encourage you to take that outreach planning portion of the handbook and maybe make that a meeting with your volunteers. Work through that planning worksheet and then start to develop an outreach plan with regular, measurable, and attainable goals. Evaluation is important to make sure that we're doing the best we can with the ministry opportunities and the ministry tools that God has given to us. We look at four areas that every Jesus Cares program needs to evaluate and determine if they're doing all that they can. Strong JCM programs have, first of all, congregational involvement. Your Jesus Cares ministry should not be an area of your congregation's ministry that only a few people are involved in or only a few people know about. This should be a visible and regular part of your congregation's ministry, just like every other area of the ministry. A strong Jesus Cares program also has a strong volunteer core, not just relying on a few people who have been doing this, you need to make sure that there's a strong volunteer core so that as the volunteers perhaps transition out, you've got other people who can keep that program going. While the pastor does not necessarily and probably should not be the program leader or coordinator, active pastoral involvement is a key to a strong Jesus Cares program. Just like your pastor wants to see and know every member of your congregation. Your pastor should be visible to your Jesus Cares volunteers and participants. And finally, having a engagement with your local intellectual and developmental disability community. Are you connected with organizations that provide services to people with special needs? Are you connected with and do you have a good relationship with those who provide housing for the IDD community. Maybe ask yourself, what can we do to strengthen or make that relationship better? If you go to myjcm.com, you will find an area of resources and we would specifically encourage you to look at the toolkit. There are a number of forms and documents in this toolkit. First of all, a welcome letter. This could be for a new Jesus Cares program. This could be as you have new participants in your Jesus Cares program. This welcome letter gives you a sample or a template to look at for welcoming those to your Jesus Cares program. There is a participant registration form. And whether you're just beginning or have a long time Jesus Cares program, this is a form that is important to have filled out for every participant every year. It gives you not only information to get a hold of that participant, it gives you emergency contact information 
medical and other important background history on that individual. Another key part of the participant registration form is by having the parent or guardian sign this form, you have permission to use that individual image in photos for publicity for your program. Having faces that are recognized in your community, in your publicity, and in items that speak about your Jesus Cares program gives their friends the assurance, this is a place that I want to be. This is a place where my friend is comfortable, so I want to join that Jesus Cares program as well. The participant support plan helps you look at, are there special things that an individual needs to be a part of our Jesus Cares program? Might there be support or other items that we need to do to allow them to learn in a way that suits them best. Another registration form, and it's one of those that living in this day and age is extremely important, is having a registration form for every single volunteer. Perhaps your church automatically does background checks on every volunteer. This form is really a background check of sorts for your Jesus Cares volunteers because by signing this form, each volunteer is acknowledging that they are not in a situation where they might be a detriment or cause difficulty because of something in the past to the Jesus Cares program. So we encourage you to have every volunteer fill out a new volunteer registration form every single year. We talked earlier about getting your Jesus Cares program visible and known in the community. That's where the press release template provides a sample or an example of how you might share news or events from your Jesus Cares program in a local paper, to a local radio station, or perhaps even to a local TV station. There is also a participant registration form separate for the new friends program that is a part of the JCM toolkit. The sign-in sheet allows you to keep a record and got, gather contact information at every single event that is a part of your Jesus Cares program. Feel free to download that sign-in sheet and use it at each of your Jesus Cares services, classes, and events. The volunteer roles document gives you a short job description for key people who are volunteers in your Jesus Cares program. Whether, again, you have a new program, this helps you look at who are the key people that we might need to have involved, or if you've got a long-time program, it helps you look at are there perhaps some volunteer roles that we might need to add or fill. The lesson planner allows you to make sure that your Jesus Cares Bible class is well thought out and well organized. As you look at the host of resources in the Dear Christian Friend curriculum, this lesson planner allows the leader and the teachers to choose which aspects of the lesson they are going to do each time who is responsible for that area, and how long are we going to allocate for that. You're going to notice that the lesson planner breaks up a one-hour class into five to ten-minute segments to keep your participants' interest and keep the lesson moving forward. The group home survey might be a tool that you use as you look to have a strong involvement engagement with the local IDD community. Again, feel free to download this short questionnaire and use it as you look to connect with facilities and organizations that serve the special needs community in your town. Thank you for taking the time to join us for this next in the series of quarterly webinars from Jesus Cares Ministries. This video will be available going forward on our YouTube page. Feel free to share it with other volunteers. Use it as an ongoing training and discussion resource with your program leaders 
and volunteers. At the same time, we encourage you to save the date and mark your calendar for Tuesday, February 16, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. as we have the next of these quarterly webinars. The webinars that we have planned throughout 2021 will help you look at each of those key areas of your Jesus Cares program. How are we connected to our congregation? What can we do to strengthen our volunteer corps? Do we have strong pastoral involvement and do we have a active connection to the local special needs community? You'll see my contact information there, both my email address and my phone number. Feel free to contact me at any time. We wanna do absolutely everything that we can to help your Jesus Cares program be the best that it can be. Again, thank you for joining us and God's blessings as you carry out this very important ministry.